So let's pick up where we left off on page 11, question 6. We were doing Z type 1 problems. So here's a, a graph of, of what we're looking at. So 2.27, we want to go to the left, so we're talking about the area under the curve. To get the answer, we need to look onto the positive table for the Z scores going down the margin to 2.27 and inside the table to find what's under or inside the curve. The answer is 0 0.9884. So that makes 98.84%. And what about the next one? In this problem, we're going in the opposite direction. So my arrow's pointing in the opposite direction, and I want the area under the curve in this direction. I want to get the area at negative 2.27 or greater. If I use my tables, however, the table only gives you area to the left. Keep that in mind. So if I looked up negative 2.27 in the table, I would get 0 0.0116. But that's not the answer I'm looking for. I'm looking for the area over here. So to get my answer, I would have to consider the entire curve less this left side. So I'd have to compute 1 minus 0 0.0116 or 0 0.9884. So the answer is 98.84. Now, is it a coincidence that the answer to 6 and 7 are the same? Well, not at all. The area to the right of negative 2.27 is the same as the area to the left of positive 2.27. So remember this rule. You will get the same answer as long as you change both the direction and the sign of the value that you're looking for. Alright, this is because of the symmetry of the standard normal density curve and we can use it to solve certain problems very quickly. You'll notice if you look up the opposite of negative 2.27, in other words if you look up 2.27 you'll get the right answer. That's because we change both the direction and the sign for the value 2.27.